Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay? So, y'all, what I end up getting was 963 hertz pineal gland. So, either you or your person here, pineal gland has activated here. Okay, some of you all can be listening to 963 hertz or you need to listen to 963 hertz here. Okay, 963 hertz is a frequency here. Okay, it's a frequency that's known as the frequency of gods. Okay, and it is known to, it's known to be the highest frequency here. Okay, it's like a connection between uh, the physical and the spiritual here. Okay. Um, it's the frequency of the highest chakra. Okay. It's associated with the alignment with the universe. Okay. And it helps you to manifest your truest desires. So some of you all could be listening to 963 Hertz or your person. This is something that they're into now here. Okay. Um, they could be meditating here. All right. But the benefits of this Hertz, it activates your pineal gland okay it opens your crown chakra it's the frequency of cellular enlightenment it promotes connection to the divine and it awakens your higher consciousness here okay so that like i said you all could be meditating your person could be meditating here okay but i feel like you or your person third i definitely have open here Okay, it's either you or your person or it's both of y'all here. Okay, but definitely if you have not already start listening to this 963 hertz, you all definitely need to here. Okay, and yeah, that's what I end up getting here. Okay, that was the message that I end up getting for you all here. Okay, but it's a it's the 963 hertz, it acts as a doorway. Okay, to like more profound spiritual experiences here. Okay, it just make you more connected to your surroundings. It make you more connected to unconditional love. It makes you more connected to the divine, uh, like a divine connection here. Okay, uh, and it can help you understand the reason behind your lack of sleep here. Okay. But yeah, y'all, let's get off into it. All right, let's get off into it. <coughs> All right, angel, spirit, guides, ancestors of mine of the highest, highest height. Some of you all are going to be teaching. Some of you all are, are, are spiritual teachers or a spiritual healer or something like that with the six of wands on the top of this card here. Okay, you're somebody that's very connected. Okay, you're very connected. All right, you got high rank in the spiritual realm and you're psychic. All right, and you all are like very successful right now here. Okay, you're de you definitely could be a psychic and you use your gifts here to like teach or to help people or something like that here. Okay, and I also feel like your person, your divine counterpart here, okay. His pineal gland has been activated. All right. But let's see what, let's see. This could be a high level soulmate or this could be your twin. Okay. But this person third eye is open. All right. This person want to come in and give you some type of offer. All right. He love you. This person is, has gotten some type of enlightenment here. Okay, page of pentacles here. This person right here could be very sociable. This is somebody that's very popular. Your person could be very popular in the community. Maybe this is something that he couldn't. Maybe he knew it was something different about him. But I don't feel like it's a lot of people that talk about things like this, like hurts. Or he might not have had people around that was spiritual or talked about the third eye or anything like that. And like when he met you, it's like you helped awaken this person or something like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing you uh, badu him or something like that. You badu him. All right. So you help enlighten your person. You help. 
wake your person up here, okay? Um, <laughs> but your person could definitely be very, uh, very popular, okay? Very intelligent here. A lot of people could look up to this person here and whatever. But I don't feel like when people look at him, I don't feel like they look at him as like a spiritual person. But now... He can, you know, he could definitely be somebody that's very spiritual here. Okay. <laughs> he might have used to say good morning. Now he's saying grand rising. You know what I'm saying? He could be like, I don't say good morning because why would you, why would you want to have a good morning? That means you're mourning. <laughs> that could be your person. I promise you y'all, sorry, y'all person. <laughs> You done change this person, y'all. I'm telling you. Like, you done change this person. This bite don't even say good morning no more. He say grand rising. You hear me? Grand rising, queen. <laughs> King. <laughs> oh. That is hilarious, y'all. I don't know why it was so funny to me, but <laughs> these people looking at this thing like, what, bro? <laughs> what is you talking about? I just said good morning. You talking about some morning, <laughs> bro. How is you doing this morning? Okay, I'm just going to start saying how you, how you doing because you <laughs> took some more stuff because I said good morning. <laughs> Yeah, y'all. <laughs> y'all, this is crazy. But this person right here, I feel like this person is going to take whatever it is they have learned. All right. And they're going to start teaching people. Like your person could start teaching people. Like he can literally use it like his popularity and start teaching people like awakening people and i feel like that's what you all came together for anyway it wasn't just you know the attraction and and the sexual chemistry and like all of that even though it's good and it's good with each other okay it's good with each other <laughs> all right and, and he take you down and you take him down but the whole purpose of it all was for you all to awaken other people Okay, like, you know, spread your light, you know, raise the vibration of humanity here. All right, enlighten others and whatever. So this is what this person finna get ready to do. Y'all could be like getting ready to do this with each other here. I feel like people are going to like look up to you all because you could have it to where people could have known you and this person like when you all maybe were unawakened or maybe when you all were in like karmic energy or something like that or you know you were still uh like learning and stuff like that versus you now it's like wow like both of you all have definitely grown both of you all have helped each other grow spiritually you know what i'm saying and it's like you all are totally different than how people maybe could have known you the last time they saw you you know what i'm saying and i feel like you badu this person here okay like it ain't nobody like you like you have to awaken this person you know what i'm saying it's like and baby the connection between y'all it's like out of worldly okay it's like it's no nobody gets this person like you do like you get this person like oh you get this person high okay like oh honey let me just tell you 
it's just nobody like you, okay? This person cannot find nobody like you. All right, don't nobody have the chemistry that you all have. All right, it's just are you perfect to this person. Oh, okay then. Okay then. This man, oh, this man, look, this man want to protect you, baby. He 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 like that's my wife. This man here, this is somebody here that can already be telling people that you're that you're his wife. Even if he ain't even told you. This is somebody that has already told people that you're his wife or he's thinking about marrying you. Okay? Because he look at you as his wife. Like he do. He look at you as this queen of cups. The perfect wife. A loving mother. A great mother. A nurturer. Alright? He look at you as somebody that's kind. Very, very loving. Very healing. He feels like you're healing. Your love is healing. Alright? And then not only that, you're very attractive. You're very romantic. You're you're very intelligent. Okay, you a lady in the streets and you a freak in the bed. Like you everything. He like oh wait, ooh you a businesswoman. You all of that. You know what I'm saying? And you balance your life out very well from mommy life to business life to wife duties or whatever. Like he feel like you you balance things out very well. Like you can give attention to every. Everybody, everybody satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you. This man want to protect you, okay? He also want to, um, like let people know, like your your wifey. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that may not have ever thought about being married before. This is somebody that literally could have been non-committal, y'all, for a very long time. And he never thought about settling down, having a family, having no wife. Like he just wanted to explore his options till he was old and gray. Like he didn't never, he never wanted that. And, but with you, it's like you, you changed this man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now he's thinking about a wife. Now he's thinking about a family. Like now he's thinking about all of that. He's changing the way he think, you know what I'm saying? And it could have been because he was hurt before. He felt like love wasn't for him because he was, he probably did try to try to love thing before. And he was hurt or, you know, somebody betrayed him and like his heart turned cold. But it's like you came in and you set this man's soul on fire. Like he like, man, like if I don't take action towards this woman, she going to be gone. Somebody going to get her. She's not going to be single forever. This is somebody to know that you're not going to be single forever with how you are because you're a businesswoman. Okay. Your your money is good. You're doing good in your career. Some of you all could even have a business and you could be going to school. Some of you all are a mother. Okay, you're a great mom. Like you I'm getting soccer mom. So like you you take care of the kids, you cook, you clean, you studying, you going to school, you getting your degree, you handling business and, and all of these things. And he like, man, this is a great woman. Not only that. You give good love. And this person like, man, if I don't take action towards this woman, it's over. And it's like he don't wanna want it to be a missed opportunity. Hold on, y'all.
want barbecue sauce? No, 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 no. Huh? I'm like, yeah, I was up there getting them nuggets out of there. <laughs> Your person here, um, you could have made this person like soft. Like this person could have been real hard and um <laughs> like this person did not wear their heart on their sleeve at all. This person was a king of swords. This is somebody that's that's he don't make no small talk. This is somebody that you not gonna know him on a personal level like that like none of that like even if you know he had options or flings like he kept it just like that like it was no it was no small talk or nothing like you're not gonna know him personally you're not gonna know nothing about him he's not gonna tell you about his mama his daddy his siblings his his life what he going through he ain't gonna tell you none of that like this is somebody that that like he keep it short and maybe maybe a little sweet, but he keeps it short. You know what I'm saying? But like with with um with you is different. It's like you 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 made this man like be vulnerable. Okay? It's like he trusts you. And he don't I don't feel like this man even trusts easily like that. He don't trust people like that, but this man trusts you here. Okay. Like it's like you made this man love again, believe in love again. You know what I'm saying? He's also the king of pentacles. I feel like he was just focused on his money. And chicks flocked to him. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's what he thought that he was going to be like for a long time. Like a bachelor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like he thought he was going to be a bachelor for the rest of his life. Because he, in his mind, he felt like love just wasn't for him. And he didn't want to give it another try until he met you. And it's like you making him believe in love again. Like... You making him want to, like, be a husband, okay? Like a family man and have kids and the white picket fence. And this is something that he had told himself he wasn't going to ever try again. Like, he, I'm telling you, he had made his mind up. Like, I don't want that. Like, it, it just ain't for me, bro. I'm good with what I'm doing, with how, how I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? He don't want that no more. He's not satisfied with that no more. He don't he don't want no flings, no one night stands. He don't want that. You know what I'm saying? And he could have just been focused on like his money and whatever. And it's now he's realizing like, look, money ain't really everything. Like now I want love. And now you made this man want love again. You made him believe in love again. You made this man like believe in himself. Like love himself. I feel like you even boosted his confidence a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And his self esteem. Like he he fit he's feeling really, really good about himself. Like you make him feel real good and confident. You know what I'm saying? And this could be somebody that's very attractive, y'all. Money, everything. But I feel like women that he was with before that he tried to be with hurt him. And I feel like it broke his confidence, broke his spirit or something like that. Cause he like, dang, I'm a high not do like I, I i make good money and i look good and do this and that and like it broke his confidence and his spirit child and it's like you came in and you made this man feel alive like you his confidence is through the roof you you feel me like he he's different like you make him feel real fine even though he is fine but now he believe it he like yeah i'm i'm really that like I'm I'm I look good. I'm handsome. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine. I'm sexy or whatever. You know, I'm a good dude. You know, I like I deserve love. Like I feel like that's him talking to himself. Because you 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 speak life into this man. You know what I'm saying? It's like now he's seen 
himself as how you see him. You know what I'm saying? You could have told him, like, look, you deserve love. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have somebody there in your life. Like, it's not meant for you to be by yourself for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like now he's seeing himself through your eyes. And he's like, wow. Like, he finds himself as beautiful just the way you look at him. You know? And that's that's a beautiful thing here. So you, you definitely made this person more confident here. Okay, and his self-esteem is very high at this current time. And, and it's love. You know what I'm saying? Leave it alone. Close that up first and then go sit down. Close that up. Leave the freezer alone. Y'all, somebody could have been doing freezer spells. Okay? Because <laughs> everything that happened in the reading be significant. Okay? Go to Go. Go. Now. But anyway, we ain't going to get off into that. It's enough for that. I've been picking up too much of that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But yeah. This person right here just want to spoil you. Okay. Um, but he love you. This man is in love. Yeah. This man love your work ethic care. Okay. Queen of Wands. You're 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 definitely you're popular too. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands here. Okay, you could be very outgoing and popular as well. Very attractive. Like both of you all kind of like marry each other here. Okay, it's just that your person could have been like more so of focused on like money. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> and you, it's like you're a businesswoman, but also it's like you're spiritual as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're out here spreading love and you're making money. You're raising vibration here. Okay. You're the light and your person is watching you. Like whatever it is that you do for work, he's watching you here online or whatever. Okay. But the queen of wands is like outgoing and out like you could be doing something in fashion it could be health you could be doing something with fitness it could be a spiritual business or um it's something that you're doing here okay um that people can see you okay so this could be where people can see you something that you're doing in the community or this could be something that somebody is seeing you do online but specifically your person is watching you here okay and this person loves the way that you work they love what it is that you do you're very creative you all birthing new ideas here all right not only that it's like you look very beautiful you're very attractive but you're so humble with it it's like you could be out here like yeah i'm that b yeah i know i look good like yeah i did it but y'all don't do none of that though you know what I'm saying? You could know that you're very beautiful and attractive, but you're very humble with it. I don't feel like you're out there doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know, if somebody compliments you, you just say thank you. But I don't feel like you're extra with it. You know what I'm saying? And this person like that about you. Like, you don't, you ain't doing too much. All right? Uh, even though you know you 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 the sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> you don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this is someone here that that's ready to take the leap of faith towards you, all right, because he see happiness with you here, okay, didn't I say that high self-esteem and confidence, this person has high self-esteem and confidence, and it's through the roof right now because of you, because you speak life into this man, he believe in love again, he's loving himself, you know what I'm saying, he's loving himself, I feel like this man even holding back you know what I'm saying? From like these options and whatever that he had. He like, bro, y'all ain't even good enough to be up on me like that. Like, I don't even know what I was even thinking about giving y'all this good D. Because y'all didn't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like at one point this person could have, you know. Like I said, had flings and things like that. And like, but this was... You know, when he didn't value himself like that. And now he like, oh, hey, y'all can't even touch me with a 10 feet pole. Like, no, you cannot touch me, baby. Like, I, anybody can't have this D right here. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anybody can't get up on this. Like, at all. Like, no. Like, and that's how he is. And you can have people mad at the fact that they can't tempt him. Like, they can't get to him like that. He's not easily tempted. 
You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody here that that's spiritual. This is somebody here that that's uh, that's uh, what am I trying to say? This is just somebody here that has transformed here, okay, spiritually. And it's like things that he used to do, he don't do no more. Like, he don't resonate with that no more here, okay? But he definitely want a family. He want to be a family man. He want to be a husband. He want you to be his wife here, okay? And you got people mad. You got the five of ones and the devil. These are people that could have worked together to stop a new beginning, Okay? They was in secret competition with you and they was trying any and everything to keep this man away from you and keep you away from him, y'all. And that could be somebody that was doing their freezer spell. Somebody was putting y'all in a jar or in a freezer or something. They was doing different things because it says you may have to, you know, it says underhanded methods to get a project pushed through competition, greed and lust for power. And it says secret opposition to your plans. A rival challenges your authority. So you had these five of ones people here, okay, that was trying to, um, this is somebody here that was trying to challenge your authority. So this is somebody that knew that y'all were meant to be together, but they was doing underhanded methods here to keep y'all from coming together, keep y'all from being together, to keep, keep y'all like separated. And not having this union come together here. These are definitely uh, people that have dark secrets. This is somebody here that could do drugs here. Bigoted. These, these, these are people that was around your person. Could have been around you too. Okay. Could have been could have been people around the both of y'all that didn't want to see y'all together. Because I'm getting that movie by Tisha Campbell. Um, when her, when the two friends was trying to keep her and the dude apart and whatever because they was jealous of how much they loved each other and they was with each other but they didn't want them to be together you know what i'm saying these are people that could even be in relationships already and like a couple like and they don't want y'all together like it could be a toxic couple just like that because they ain't in love with each other like that like they don't have what y'all have you know what i'm saying like they could be jealous at the fact that y'all could be like twin flames or high level soulmates and y'all are really in love with each other like y'all have like telepathy and like they could be karmics it could be karmics together and they mad at the fact that you all are actually like twins or uh high level soulmates coming together and it's the love is real and y'all got spiritual gifts and they don't have that so they're trying to keep y'all from coming together because they ain't like that and they're jealous this could be a whole couple because that's what I picked up on. I can't think of the name of that movie. Um, let's see. What's the name of the movie with Tisha Campbell when the friends were trying to keep them apart? Let's see. Movie with Tisha Campbell where friends were trying to keep them apart. Y'all, it is not coming up. Let me see something. It's called Sprung. This movie came out in 1997. Something can be significant about 1997 here. <laughs> but yeah, the name of it is uh, Sprung here. Okay, go watch that movie if you have not. Because I definitely feel like you had people that did not want y'all to like be together here. Okay, just like just like that movie with uh, Tisha Campbell in it here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, Tisha Campbell, Rusty, what's that? Gundy, Paula J. Parker, and Joe Torrey. Yeah. <clears throat> These people tried everything here, okay, to keep them apart here. They did not. 
want them to be together. And that's how people did y'all. People didn't want y'all to be together just like that here. And they tried everything. But y'all still finna have this Ace of Cups here. Okay. I feel like y'all are friends and lovers because you got intense friendships here. Okay. But I definitely feel like it's finna be the beginning of a great love here. Okay. Plenty of equal give and take here. Okay. Y'all gonna be spoiling each other here. It ain't gonna be just one sided. Like both of y'all gonna spoil each other. All right. And, and like whatever it is that you give this person is gonna give it's gonna be equally like both of you all are gonna give each other a hundred percent here all right two of cups here all right this definitely you know this relationship is definitely finna get ready to be healed here okay but it's the start of a new relationship here okay and i feel like y'all gonna be together like to death do y'all part that's what i'm getting here okay like forever and I feel like y'all gonna find each other in each lifetime. And then you got the nine of cups here, okay? Yeah, your deepest desire is granted here. All right? And your dreams coming true. Both of you all dreams coming true together, okay? Both of you all are gonna have um, a great relationship here. You know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like you all are working on y'all body, like physical health, like fitness. Because this is the second time I got that. Some of you all could be, uh, I don't know if y'all are like a coach, a fitness coach, or you're just in the gym. Like y'all could have a personal trainer. Some of y'all could maybe, maybe be a personal trainer or something like that. Or you're just fit. You know, y'all working out, <clears throat> y'all eating right and all of that. Y'all could even be working out together or something like that. Okay. <laughs> y'all going to be doing a lot of things together here. Okay. And I just, like, people are going to find y'all is absolutely beautiful here, okay? And it's like, I really do feel like this person is going to want the world to know that you're his lady, you know? But I definitely feel like this is going to be a very successful relationship. And both of you all definitely are spiritually gifted, okay? And this person here, okay, like I said in the beginning, could be listening to Hertz, this 963 Hertz here, okay? And... His third eye has uh, opened up here. All right. He's seeing everything through his spiritual eyes here. And you was like the catalyst to his healing. And y'all about to be together. You know. And it's going to be beautiful. But that is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way. And gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you. And I do too. Bye, y'all.